Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to map dispatch to props. Um, the map dispatch to props function is used to provide specific action creators to your React components so they can dispatch actions against the Redux store. It's similar to in structure to the map state to props function you wrote in the last challenge. It returns an object that maps dispatch actions to property names, which become component props. However, instead of returning a piece of state, each property returns a function that calls dispatch with an action creator and any relevant action data. You have access to this dispatch because it's passed in to map dispatch to props as a parameter. When you define the function, just like you passed state to map state to props. Uh, behind the scenes, React Redux is using Redux's uh, store dot dispatch to conduct these dispatches with map dispatch to props. This is similar to how it uses store dot subscribe for components that are mapped to state. So for example, you have a login user action creator that takes a username as an action payload. A username as an action payload. The object returned from the map dispatch to props for this action creator would look something like this. This would be the object returned. So the code editor provides, so what, here what we have is an object and within there we have a single key value pair of the key being submit login user and then the value being this function, this uh, anonymous function, it doesn't have a name, it's just function. And it's got username and then it's, uh, and then within this uh, function, so if we did this object dot submit login user, that would mean we'd be rendering out a function. And so we could say submit login user and then maybe have like, a, oh, and then the username. And then we're going to dispatch, which is a function coming from somewhere else, the login user username. So that login user probably just means like execute the login so that the user is being logged in. This is quite complex. The code editor provides an actor. Okay, I'm just going to leave it right here. The code editor provides an action creator called add message. So this is the add message action creator. We want to write the function map dispatch to props. Okay, so we're going to go function map dispatch to props. Um, that takes dispatch as an argument. So here we're going to say dispatch as an argument and then returns an object. So we're going to return an object. The object should have a property submit new message. Submit new message set to the dispatch function. Dispatch function, which takes a parameter from the new message. From the add message, the new message to add when it dispatches add message. Dispatch, and so add message. And then within here, we're going to have new message like that. New message. Okay, so uh, I don't even know if that's right, but essentially I'm just kind of copying that and writing it out as I see. Let's run the test and see what happens. Okay, map dispatch to props should return an object. Uh, well, it's console.log, match dispatch to props, it should return an object. Die patch. Ah, I'm missing an S here. Dispatch. Dispatch is not a function. Um, we can just have like function of random. So if we passed in match dispatch to props and we just did rand, uh, submit new message, it comes out to undefined. Okay, well that's fine because our random function is kind of BS. But uh, so yeah, what I did was I just passed, I did map dispatch to props, I passed in a blank function, a function that doesn't do anything. Um, and then, I mean, the new message could be something like, oh, here we would pass in, the new message would be like, hello. And then maybe we could just console.log. No, 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 because we're doing dispatch, add new message, add message. Okay, that doesn't all work. So, uh, but anyways, um, I can get rid of this now. Okay, so let's look back up here. 
Submit new user. We want to have a function. Oh, that okay, so we need this anonymous function. So function. And then within the function, we're gonna do something. Oops. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this dispatch thing and see, I'm just gonna move it up here even though I might not need any of it, but dispatch, our function. And this will be our new message. And then dispatch add message. We don't need new message in here because the message will be passed in when we submit the new message. When we say map dispatch to props, dot submit new message it will dispatch the add new message with the new message that we're being passed in from when we call this so maybe this will work okay cool so that's how that goes um, this is quite complex in my opinion um, <clears throat> basically they're just showing you that you can wrap functions within functions within functions and that this is going to be the way that you pass data through the um, between redux and react between your app store and then between your Redux application and your Redux store management uh, software. You're gonna always wanna be passing in uh, pre-written functions um, and that way you have consistency in data. It sort of like wraps it in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in an envelope ensuring that you always pass the exact same data. So yeah, let's, before we move on, let's, uh, we can refactor this to new ES6, right? Because map is equal to dispatch. If we do it like this, this looks like it's a more ES6 version. Uh, we can do the same thing here. Instead of saying function, we can go message. And um, this will still pass the tests. And so yeah, this is still, this is the same, same as last, but this is gonna be the way that you're gonna see it more in uh, modern programming. And uh, yeah, I think you can actually take this out. When, yeah, because when you have a single parameter, you can take out the parentheses. So you can have a, a much cleaner looking code, I guess, if you, uh, if you like things like this. Um, so the dispatch. Um, so yeah, once again, so map dispatch to props. It returns an object, which if the, one of the key is the submit new message. And if you go submit new message and you pass in a message, so submit new message, hello, then message becomes hello. And then you dispatch, add message. You dispatch this guy and you add the message here. And so, uh, yeah, that's the way that works. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.